Now let's go to Scott McLeod and Nelson Benton at Grumman. It's still about a couple of hours before the crew will even get a look at the limb that they're carrying, that bill when uh, they do dock with it. But it's going to be even longer before Stafford, Cernan, uh, Stafford and Cernan have a look at the actual inside of the lunar module. Scott, when uh, do they actually see the inside of the bird for the first time in flight? Well, the first time they do crawl into the lunar module is after they've attained lunar orbit. And then Gene Cernan will be the first one in, and that would be late on Wednesday evening. He takes a trip inside, uh, looks around, goes back, then uh, he and Stafford go in together the next day. Yes, that's correct. So, Walter, for right now, uh, Lem is just riding and will be just riding for some time, just sitting, waiting to be looked at. <laughs> okay, Nelson. Uh, speaking of television, uh, the transposition and docking that Leo Krupp, Bill Stout, so accurately say will be a spectacular sight. Uh, that will be televised in large part as expected. Our first color transmission from this flight, that comes at uh, 3.48 this afternoon. They're expecting to begin the color, the, uh, the transmission about that time. Uh, and although we'll be reminding you of it again, we are going to be on the air at 3.15 Eastern Daylight Time uh, to report that transposition and docking and to pick up those first color pictures that is expected from the flight of Apollo 10. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 10 will continue in a moment. And so Apollo 10 is on its way, 33 minutes and 55 seconds into its flight, out over, as you see, already in a half an hour's time, since it's traveling at 17,000 miles an hour, out over the uh, eastern coast of uh, Africa, out over the Indian Ocean very shortly, then over Australia, and its first pass over that continent. On its second pass, it will fire its big engines for the translunar trajectory and be really on its way to the moon. Let's take a look again at that exciting launch this morning. Uh, just uh, an hour, two hour, what was it, 12.49, and it's 1.25, an hour and 45 minutes ago. Let's take a look at it. 10, Repeat. 9, mission sequence start. Engines, one, five, four, three, two. That was the launch just 35 minutes and 50 seconds ago of the Apollo 10, which is now out just to beginning its flight over the Indian Ocean on its first orbit of the Earth. Everything going absolutely perfectly. The launch seven one hundredths, seven tenths or one hundredths of a second off. Anyway, it was almost on the second. Trains and planes don't leave uh, as close to schedule as that, but uh, our Saturn V rockets from the very beginning of this program have a great tribute to the engineers who have built that machine, Werner von Braun and all of his crew, Sam Phillips, who is the project director for all of this operation, and Kirk Debus, who is the manned spacecraft uh, center boss, and Bob Gilruth at Houston, the men who had to put together this team and put together these rockets and make them work. You heard how excited the crew of Apollo 10 were about this ride. Cernan, as soon as they launched, as hard, they'd hardly gotten past the tower, was saying, what a ride, what a ride. And uh, very shortly after that, uh, it was uh, St uh, Stafford who was saying that staging was quite a sequence, and Young was adding, just like old times, it's beautiful up here. Uh, they're all veterans of previous flights, Young and Stafford of two flights each, Cernan of one. Cernan came in and said it was fantastic, and uh, Stafford uh, couldn't uh, dampen his enthusiasm, and he was reporting fantastic, fantastic, just fantastic. 
So apparently they were all really enjoying this, their first ride in, on a Saturn V, man's greatest rocket. Uh, they had not ridden the, uh, the Saturn before. They were veterans of the Gemini program. Everything, all of the systems are go. Now the next big thing on this flight is the translunar uh, uh, injection. That comes at two hours and 33 minutes into the flight, or at 3.22 uh, this afternoon. After the translunar injection, uh, by uh, some 25 minutes later, the transposition, that is the command module uh, uh, with its service module, detaches from the third stage, turns around, docks, picks up the LEM, and they're on the way. We're going to be on the air to cover those events as they take place. The communications again with this Apollo 10 spacecraft, as they have been with each of the Apollos, is extraordinarily good. And we expect to be able to hear a play-by-play. -play. And we also expect to see our first color pictures from space. They'll be out about 10,000 miles when all of that happens. And they may possibly be able to give us a view back at the Earth from that distance. It should be spectacular. We'll be on the air at 3.15 for all of those events, Eastern Daylight Time. That's an hour and 45 minutes from now. This is Walter Cronkite, Kennedy Space Center. This has been a CBS News special report, The Flight of Apollo 10.